Today is June 11th. Today, we see the structure of Chronicles. Today, as we read through the Bible in a year, please, please read 1 Chronicles 3 to 5. I just want to mention a little bit about the structure of Chronicles. The first nine chapters of uh, 1 Chronicles are all genealogies, but there's a special focus on the Messiah and the Messiah's line through David. From 1 Chronicles 10 to 2 Chronicles 9, we have the story of David rebuilding or building uh, the first, uh, preparing to build the first temple. Solomon actually building that temple. But David setting up the structure of Israelite worship, what that looked like. Then from 2 Chronicles 10 through 36, we have the story of the divided kingdom, a heavy focus on Judah and the southern kingdom, because that is where David's line is, and that's where the Messiah comes from. Enjoy today as you read First Chronicles 3 through 5. These were the sons of David who were born in Hebron. The oldest was Amnon, whose mother was Ahinoam from Jezreel. The second was Daniel, whose mother was Abigail from Carmel. The third was Absalom, whose mother was Maeka, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur. The fourth was Adonijah, whose mother was Haggith. The fifth was Shephathiah, whose mother was Abital. The sixth was Ithream, whose mother was Egla, David's wife. These six sons were born to David in Hebron, where he reigned seven and a half years. Then David reigned another thirty years in Jerusalem. The sons born to David in Jerusalem included Shemua, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. Their mother was Bathsheba, the daughter of Amiel. David also had nine other sons, Ibhar, Elishua, Elpalit, Noga, Netheg, Jephiah, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphalet. These were the sons of David, not including his sons, born to his concubines. Their sister was named Tamar. The descendants of Solomon were Rehoboam, Abijah, Asa, Jehoshaphat, Jehoram, Ahaziah, Joash, Amaziah, Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, Manasseh, Amon, and Josiah. The sons of Josiah were Johanan the oldest, Jehoiakim the second, Zedekiah the third, and Jehoahaz the fourth. The successors of Jehoiakim were his son Jehoiachin and his brother Zedekiah. The sons of Jehoiachin, who was taken prisoner by the Babylonians, were Shealtiel, Melchiram, Pedaiah, Shenazer, Jechamiah, Hoshama, and Nedabiah. The sons of Pedaiah were Zerubbabel and Shimei. The sons of Zerubbabel were Meshulam and Hananiah. Their sister was Shulamith. His five other sons were Heshabah, Ohel, Berechiah, Hezadiah, and Jushab Hesed. The sons of Hananiah were Pelatiah and Jeshaiah. Jeshaiah's son was Rephahai. Rephahiah's son was Arnan. Arnan's son was Obadiah. Obadiah's son was Shechaniah. The descendants of Shechaniah were Shemaiah and his sons Hatush, Eagle, Neriah, and Shaphath, six in all. The sons of Neriah were Elioenai, Hizkiah, and Ezrakam, three in all. The sons of Elioenai were Hodaviah, Eliashib, Peleah, Akab, Johanan, Delaiah, and Ananai, seven in all. Other descendants of Judah. The descendants of Judah were Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Shobal's son Rhea was the father of Jahath. Jahath was the father of Ahumai and Lahad. These were the families of the Zorathites. The descendants of Etam were Jazriel, Ishma, Itbash, their sister Haziel Pony, Pinuel, the father of Gedor, and Ezer, the father of Husha. 
These were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah, the ancestor of Bethlehem. Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, named Hela and Nera. Nera gave birth to Ahuzam, Hefer, Timini, and Heshtari. Hela gave birth to Zareth, Izhar, Ethnin, and Kaz, who became the ancestor of Anim, Zobaba, and all the families of Aharal, son of Haram. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth was so painful. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do, and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted him this request. Kelub, the brother of Shua, was the father of Mir. Mihir was the father of Eshton. Eshton was the father of Beth Rapha, Pasia, and Tehenna. Tehenna was the father of Irnahash. These were the descendants of Rekah. The sons of Kenaz were Othniel and Sirea. Othniel's sons were Hathath and Meonathai. Meonathai was the father of Ophrah. Sirea was the father of Joab, the founder of the Valley of Craftsmen, so called because they were craftsmen. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, were Eru, Elah, and Naam. The son of Elah was Kenaz. The sons of Jehalalel were Ziph, Zepha, Tyria, and Azrael. The sons of Ezra were Jether, Merid, Epher, and Jalon. One of Merid's wives became the mother of Miriam, Shammai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoa. He married a woman from Judah, who became the mother of Jerid, the father of Gedor, Heber, the father of Sokol, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zenoah. Merid also married Bithia, a daughter of Pharaoh, and she bore him children. Hodiah's wife was the sister of Naham. One of her sons was the father of Kela the Garmite, and another was the father of Eshtemoah the Meacathite. The sons of Sheman were Amnon, Rena, Ben-Hanan, and Telon. The descendants of Ishai were Zohath and Ben-Zohath. Shelah was one of Judah's sons. The descendants of Shelah were Ur, the father of Lecha, Laeda, the father of Marisha, the family of linen workers at Beth Ashbia, Jochum, the men of Kozabah, and Joash and Sheraph, who ruled over Moab and Jeshabai Lehem. These names all come from ancient records. They were pottery makers who lived in Nataim and Gedera. They lived there and worked for the king. The sons of Simeon were Jamul, Jamin, Jerub, Zohar, and Shoal. The descendants of Shal, Shalom, Mibsam, and Mishma. The descendants of Mishma were Hamuel, Zakor, and Shimei. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but none of his brothers had large families, so Simeon's tribe never grew as large as the tribe of Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Molada, Hazar Shul, Bilha, Izam, Tolad, Bethul, Horma, Ziglag, Beth Markabuth, Hazar Shushim, Beth Birai, and Sheram. These towns were under their control until the time of King David. Their descendants also lived in Etam, Aen, Rimen, Token, and Asian, five towns and their surrounding villages as far away as Balath. This was their territory and their names listed in their genealogical records. Other descendants of Simeon included Meshobab, Jamlech, Joshua, son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu, son of Joshabiah, son of Sureah, son of Aziel, Elioenai, Jeechabah, Joshohiah, Eshea, Adiel, Jezmiel, Benea, and Ziza, son of Shiphai, son of Alon, son of Judea, son of Shimri, son of Shimea. These were the names of some of the leaders of Simeon's wealthy clans. Their families grew and they traveled to the region of Gerar, in the east part of the valley, seeking pasture land for their flocks. They found lush pastures there, and the land was spacious, quiet, and peaceful. Some of Ham's descendants had been living in that region. But during the reign of King Hezekiah of Judah, these leaders of Simeon invaded the region and completely destroyed the homes of the descendants of Ham and the Meonites. No trace of them remains today. They killed everyone who lived there and took the land for themselves, because they wanted its good pasture land for their flocks. Five hundred of these invaders from the tribe of Simeon went to Mount Seir, 
led by Pelatiah, Neriah, Rephaiah, and Uziel, all sons of Ishai. They destroyed the few Amalekites who had survived, and they have lived there ever since. The oldest son of Israel was Reuben, but since he dishonored his father by sleeping with one of his father's concubines, his birthright was given to the sons of his brother Joseph. For this reason, Reuben is not listed in the genealogical records as the firstborn son. The descendants of Judah became the most powerful tribe and provided a ruler for the nation. But the birthright belonged to Joseph. The sons of Reuben, the oldest son of Israel, was Hanok, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The descendants of Joel, Shimea, Gog, Shimei, Micah, Reaiah, Baal, and Beerah. Beerah was the leader of the Reubenites when they were taken into captivity by King Tigla-Pileser. Beerah's relatives are listed in their genealogical records by their clans. Jeiel, the leader, Zechariah, and Bela, son of Azaz, son of Shema, son of Joel. The Reubenites lived in the area that stretches from Aror to Nebo and baal Meon. And since they had so many livestock in the land of Gilead, they spread eastwards towards the edge of the desert that stretches to the Euphrates River. During the reign of Saul, the Reubenites defeated the Hagrites in battle. Then they moved into the Hagrite settlements all along the eastern edge of Gilead. Next to the Reubenites, the descendants of Gad lived in the land of Bashan as far east as Selica. Joel was the leader in the land of Bashan, and Shapham was second in command, followed by Jaini and Shaphat. Their relatives, the leaders of the seven other clans, were Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jachin, Ziah, and Eber. These were all descendants of Abihel, son of Hurai, son of Jeroah, son of Gilead, son of Michael, son of Jeshishai, son of Jado, son of Buzz. Ahai, son of Abdiel, son of Gunai, was the leader of their clans. The Gadites lived in the land of Gilead in Bashan and its villages, and throughout all of the pasture lands of Sharon. All of these were listed in the genealogical records during the days of the kings of Jotham of Judah and King Jeroboam of Israel. There were 44,760 capable warriors in the armies of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. They were all skilled in combat and armed with shields, swords, and bows. They waged war against the Hagrites and the Jadarites, Naphtashites, and the Nodabites. They cried out to God during the battle, and he answered their prayer, because they trusted in him. So the Hagrites and all their allies were defeated. The plunder taken from the Agrites included 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep and goats, 2,000 donkeys, and 100,000 captives. Many of the Hagrites were killed in battle because God was fighting against them. The people of Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh lived in their land until they were taken into exile. The half-tribe of Manasseh was very large and spread through the land of Bashan to Beel Hermon, Sinir, and Mount Hermon. These were the leaders of their clans. Ephr, Ishai, Eliel, Azrael, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Judeal. These men had a great reputation as mighty warriors and leaders of their clans. But these tribes were unfaithful to the god of their ancestors. They worshipped the gods of the nations that God had destroyed. So the god of Israel caused King Pul of Assyria, also known as Tiglath-Pileser, to invade the land and take away the people of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh as captives. The Assyrians exiled them to Hala, Habor, Hera, and the Gozan River, where they remain to this day. Scripture reading from the New Living Translation by Emily Herrera. Let's Find Out Together has a companion podcast called Salty Saints. Zach Kelly and I discuss apologetics, scripture, and theology. Look for Salty Saints on your favorite podcast app. Tomorrow, we'll look at themes in Chronicles.